Hello everyone. Uh, start from today, I gonna to make a series of video about how to use Flink on Zipli. This is the uh, part one. In this video, I'd like to talk about how to set up and uh, start Zipli. The first thing is to download Zipli. You can download from this link. And uh, because when I make this video, the Zipli 0.9 is not released yet. So you can just try to uh, this, uh, this the 0.9 snapshot of this link. So now let's go to the terminal. So in my laptop, I have already uh, downloaded the Zipli. So now let's go to the Zipli photo. And we can run this command to just start the Zipli. OK, now it is started. Let's go to the uh, browser. Uh, we can just yeah, use this address. OK, now you can see the home page of Zipli. And uh, you can see the uh, green icon here. That means you have already successfully started Zipli. The next thing I'd like to talk about is the configuration of Zipli. So basically, there's two configuration files. Um, there on the conf folder. One is the Zipli site. So first, we need to copy it to uh, copy it from the uh, template file. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah. Copy and let's open it. So uh, here are two properties I'd like to talk about first. The first property is the Zipli server.address. So by default, uh, this is the default value. And uh, But if you would like to set up Zipli in a remote machine and you would like to access it from a remote address, then you need to change it to, um, to 0.0.0. .0. And uh, this is the uh, default port. If this port is used by another process, then you can change the port. Okay, now let's uh, save this file. And we can run this command to restart the plane server to take the uh, effect of the, uh, of, of, of the changes I ha that I have made just now. Okay. Just a few seconds. Okay. Now it is started. Let's refresh the page. OK. So uh, next, I would like to talk about several uh, basic concepts of Zipli. The first concept is notebook. So notebook is just a collection of notes. And here is the notes. And notes is just a collection of paragraph. Yes, here we can see a lot of paragraph. So paragraph is the minimum unit of uh, code block. And in each paragraph, there will be an uh, interpret. Interpret is the component to execute the, the code. And here, we can see the uh, interpret setting. So here, uh, in this page, we can just config the interpret. Let's go to the Flink interpret. Yeah, here is a lot of properties that you can set for the Flink interpret. OK, this is uh, part one. Thank you, everyone.